Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and you're watching Old Car Auto Guy. Before we get started, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate Jeremy over at Blue Collar Dipper for reaching 500 subscribers. Guys, if you haven't done it yet, I'm going to put his information right here so you can go over and check out Blue Collar Dipper. I've said it before, I've given him a shout out before, he does a lot. And I mean a lot of crazy, crazy things. You're not going to want to miss it. He's from the South, he's proud of it, and he's very entertaining. So Jeremy, I'm going to be sending you off a congratulatory Old Car Auto Guy sticker and this very, very special flag for you to wave. So guys, thank you so much for the support you've given me. It's my turn to give back. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Okay guys, so I gave you a choice on Instagram on which vehicle you wanted me to review. The 12 Dodge Journey, the 15 Compass, or the whatever it was, I forget. Regardless, it's the 15 Compass. This is the interior and exterior view of the 2015 Jeep Compass High Altitude Edition, which is all-wheel drive. Overall condition of this vehicle is excellent. There are a few small blemishes that I will point out for you. Standard wear and tear for a vehicle with 75,000 kilometers. A few little rock chips on the front of the vehicle here. There is a small little dent right here behind the gas cap as well as a small mark above the door handle on the driver's side that likely will come off with a little bit of compound. This vehicle has four brand new 225 60 17 inch Ironman tires. Brakes have all been serviced. It is licensed till January 2019 and inspected until April. As we come into the interior, one of the first things you'll notice is the power driver's seat. And because it has leather interior, it does have heated driver and passenger seat, as well as the all-wheel drive lock button. Plenty of storage in this Compass. You've got a little cubby here, as well as a glove box there. Top storage here in the top of the armrest, as well as a deep storage pocket below the armrest. Also comes equipped with leather wrapped steering wheel and all your steering wheel controls on the wheel. The only thing that I don't get for a 2015 model is, yes, it has Bluetooth, but why didn't you incorporate the Bluetooth on the steering wheel, just like everybody else? This is 2015, guys. It's there, you've got your telephone, your voice command button right here, 
as well as satellite radio. And the air conditioning does blow ice cold. 75,361 kilometers on this vehicle. And as you can tell, the only light on the dash right now is the seat belt light. Because I'm sitting in the seat and I don't have my seat belt on. This model does, however, have the buttons on the back of the steering wheel for volume up on this side and the tuning buttons on the other side. Which again, Dodge, Fiat, Chrysler, whoever you are these days, if you're going to put all these features on the steering wheel, why did you leave out the Bluetooth? I mean, there's clearly enough room for those buttons right here. However, not to say that that would be a deal breaker for me, but it would be so much more convenient. As you saw in the preview video, it does come with the moonroof as well. And as I always like to point out, you've got your driver's side and passenger side vanity mirrors. Heated power rear view mirrors, delay wipers, and headlights with fog light control. Just like pretty well every other vehicle on the market, it does have the auto stick control on this CVT transmission. Again, I don't really understand why you give an automatic customer the ability to shift their transmission manually when they can just put it in drive and go. It's a weird feature. Almost every vehicle comes with it, and I really don't know why. I don't like it. Maybe you would. In the back seat, much similar to the Chevy Cruze, there's not entirely a whole lot of room back here for a six foot two passenger, but I could get by. There is plenty of headroom, and one thing that this is lacking, in my opinion, is a center armrest with cup holders or cup holders in the door. Again, this is 2015. Anybody with kids would know how important cup holders are in any vehicle this day and age. And as we come into the back, we also have a storage compartment underneath the deck for your spare tire. So it does have a compact spare. Put it on there, get yourself to a garage, lickety split. We have the capabilities of fixing you up right here. Now it's time for a test drive. Again, safety first. So as you can hear, maybe you can't hear, these Jeeps do have a CVT transmission, although there are shift points added for your comfort. They, they do have a CVT, so um, it is one of the biggest improvements that Chrysler or Jeep did with these calibers, Patriots, and compasses was to simply put shift points in the transmission. Uh, they seem to work a lot better and make you feel more at home in a vehicle driving something with a CVT that feels like a regular shifting transmission. The previous models didn't feel that way. They just screamed like a son of a gun. Although the Sirius XM satellite radio is not active on this vehicle, it is available. And again, you will get three months free when you purchase it. So we are at 100 kilometers an hour. We're gonna do a hard brake and then a quick acceleration. And braking in three, two, one. Rah. Woo! Didn't even chirp the tires on that one. And now we'll just make sure that there's nothing coming behind us and every shift seems to be tapping right out at about 6,000 RPM. Now this high country compass does come with the 2.4 Tiger Shark four cylinder, which is naturally aspirated. Generally, these engines work phenomenal. They are virtually bulletproof. Not overburdened with power by no means, but they'll get the job done. For a compact SUV in this market, uh, these Jeeps are very comfortable to drive. Uh, for me, again, tall guy, plenty of headroom. Seats are very comfortable, and on a cool day, those heated seats in the, in the wintertime are gonna be a, a definite added bonus. And for all of you guys who are interested in the fuel economy on this rig, I'm going to put that right here. And there you have it guys, there's my review on our 2015 Jeep Compass High Altitude. Remember, we offer financing which is available for any situation, no matter your credit history, whether you're a first time buyer, 
doesn't matter. We can help you out. And at $17,450, no reasonable offer will be refused. Remember, everything is on sale. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in to this Reviews Day Tuesday that you chose. And always be focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Once again, if you haven't done it yet, please go over and visit Blue Collar Dipper. Subscribe to his channel. I promise you will not be disappointed. I'm still looking for that right subscriber who has the ability to give me a video or audio graphic for the intros on this channel. If you want to contact me, my information is in the comment section below. Guys, I love you. God bless. We will see you in the next upload. And cut. <laughs>